is Denton Daly. I'm a professional boxer fighting out of Canada. My first objective was to become Canadian uh, champion. Since then, I've attained uh, two North American titles and a Commonwealth title. Dangerous Denton Daly. I needed to overcome uh, before rec respecting the process came along uh, was I needed to basically get on the social media market. I needed to project myself to my fans and audience, let people know who I was, uh, what I came to do and all that. It was very difficult for me to do that before or prior to res respecting the process because I'm a very conservative person that was never out there like that and um, I didn't have any trust uh, to have anybody uh, record me and tell my story because I always thought that it would it would not turn out the way that uh, projected me on, on a day-to-day -day basis. Had I not met Adam Roshan uh, with respecting the process I don't believe a lot of people would have known who I am uh, today um, I've walked the streets, people stop and say hi to me and know me and talk about respecting the process and uh, in which they've learned me on that platform. So without Adam, I really don't know how I got myself out there because anybody who knows me knows that I don't do Facebook, I don't do Twitter or Instagram. And sometimes uh, those are the platforms you really need in order to uh, tell your story. Um, I trusted in Adam, we did respecting the process, he projected every single video, any documentary that he did on me, he, he did it in a way that projects my everyday life and I'm grateful for that. Yeah, prior to that, I, I knew I had to get myself out in the market, so I did explore many different options and worked with a few different people in which I trusted, but the people that they had assigned to me um, wanted more out of me. They wanted me to be this rich kid or they wanted me to be this big bad tough guy because they felt that it would, it would resonate with the audience or my public. That obviously turned out to be a failure. That, you know, I, I was always straightforward and said I didn't want to be projected this way. Then in turn they would lose interest because they would find me boring. Um, respecting the process was the total opposite. Uh, found this boring guy and made me into something that um, uh, portrayed my picture or my journey the, the way I'd like it to be projected and, and people found me interesting after they seen these videos. Mm -hmm. So ironically I was training in the gym and um, I met um, Adam and um, Adam was always a cool kid came to the gym, always trained and worked hard, liked to spar, and um, you know, he was there a lot, so I, I met him that way, and then, uh, you know, learned that he did uh, journalism, or he was into journalism, but more so on the video side, in videography, and we literally spoke, and um, you know, because he's such a cool guy, <laughs> such a cool guy I decided that you know I'm gonna talk with him and give him a shot and you know if he's as good as you know I, I had a feeling he would be then uh, we can uh, make some more videos and and get out there so it was it all just came it was just a manifestation it felt like and everything all worked out well so as I met and uh, people in the industry who wanted to tell my story or who had offered to tell my story it was very important that they didn't portray me as somebody I wasn't. Um, I know that social media and um, is, is filled with a lot of people portraying themselves when they could be living the complete opposite of what they're portraying. I never want to become across as a, uh, a social media celebrity in any way, shape or form. So as the person got to know me, they would know that I stay as genuine as possible and I don't like to uh, live and lead this flashy lifestyle or this tough guy mentality. I want people to know that I'm exactly like them and um, I just work hard to get uh, where I'm going. So 
uh, it was very important to me that somebody could understand that, be in my circle, know me well, and at that point they'd be able to tell my story better than anybody. Um, I've known Adam for a few years now and what I remember uh, greatly that was going to tell me that this was the right person to portray my story the way that I needed to be portrayed because it's very important that I stay true to myself, true to my fans, true to my family. So what I remember um, was Adam telling me that he was going to tell my story and I quickly just said okay meet me at the track at five o'clock in the morning you know most people would hear that and say well could we do it later on in the afternoon or whatever whatever Adam just looked at me and said okay I'll be at the track at five o'clock in the morning and we started our first video and that told me a lot because he was willing to learn who I was and who I am I should say and he was willing to put in that work and to portray the image that I would only allow it to be portrayed of myself. Yeah, I got a question. What are you going to put on Facebook after I kick your ass? <laughs> An impressive, impressive performance from Dangerous Denton Daly. Everything met my expectations on, you know, how he presented himself with me and the work that he has done. I watch it and I say, yeah, that's that's exactly who I am um, in the videos. He always kept who I was. He always learned me, was always around me to know the person that I am and it helped him in his work. Genuinity and honesty are the number one things that I need from a videographer or a business person. Um, these are the things that I respected the most about Adam in respect to the process that he was going to give me exactly what he said he was going to give me in terms of how I was portrayed or the message that we need to get out um, to the crowd or to you know my public uh, during my journey. Um, every video is very consistent um, with what I'm asking for. I would say that the best thing about working with Respecting the Process is that I want to work with uh, Respecting the Process more than anything. I will create time, I will make time to do the things that I normally wouldn't would like to do uh, because I know of the ulterior motives that people may have when they film somebody that's getting a lot of attention I always wanted to work with Adam because I knew that he was always going to portray exactly what he should and what I was comfortable with and in this business it, it's always very extremely important to be comfortable with the person that you are working with. It's the only way that they're going to get who you truly are out there to the masses. What I've noticed uh, working with um, respecting the process is that I've had a lot of people come up to me and say wow like after your videos they're like wow you're just somebody who works hard and you're coming to, to get it every night that you're in the gym or you're in a fight and I think it's because they're seeing who I really am and not this person showing off for all these people or trying to live an extravagant lifestyle that I, I don't live or, or anything like that. So I believe it's a, you know, it's a competitor's edge. It's definitely an advantage working with somebody like Adam Roshan because he can, he'll bring that out. He'll bring out who you are. You know, working with uh, respecting the process, um, I've obviously gained a lot of likes and I've gained a lot of notoriety and uh, you know just in my community and I guess that could happen with anybody that's in front of a camera telling their story but what I've always genuinely appreciated was the amount of people that came up to me and said you know what man you're you're working really hard and you deserve the titles that you've won and and I can see you going all the way and, and so forth and you know these are people I don't know and you know, these are people that I just see you know, randomly on the streets, or if I go to another gym to train, they seem to know everything about me or know the type of person that I am. I've gained a lot of notoriety and a, a lot of, you know, there's a lot of comments online and, and under, you know, YouTube videos or, or uh, just in articles and that sometimes, sometimes in the article they're saying things that I, I didn't have that conversation with. They had to have watched one of Adam's videos to 
uh, say the things that they've said in their articles and and that's what I appreciate the most is that you know everybody is uh, look to these videos to get information on me if they can't get a hold of me or what have you they're looking at these videos and they're they're portraying that or they're sharing that with others and, and people end up knowing me um, just from these videos so that's all always worked out for me and I, and I appreciate that again.